As states like Florida move to shield students from tough topics, there are districts in Colorado moving in the other direction. For instance, every high school freshman in Denver next year will be required to take a class on the Holocaust and genocide. Cole Sullivan has more. The class will be called the History of Power, Conflict and Healing. It's how Denver Public Schools will meet a 2020 requirement from legislators that all districts adequately teach the history of the Holocaust and other genocides. It's important for students to understand that the capacity to become killers is something that's within all of us. It's a human capacity. Dan Lesham helped finalize the wording of the new state standards. It's really about what kind of humans are we going to be and what kind of people do we want to teach our young people to be. Creating new graduation requirements across the state isn't easy, not for advocates like Dan. I think the most important aspect of passing the standards is the work that's yet to come. And not for the districts that implement them. It is a change here. Three new required classes have rearranged Denver's course catalogs. Typically our high school students in ninth grade would take a world history class uh, to begin with. Now the new class on genocide will take its place starting this fall. DPS will also add a personal finance course and a change to the existing high school health class. The goal with our new graduation requirements is that our students leave us career and college ready and also ready to enter our community as very healthy, highly operating adults. Dan hates the cliche, but says he believes the Holocaust class is more necessary now than ever, especially as anti-Semitism continues to rise. And through learning about genocide and understanding the experiences of the victims, I believe that we inoculate ourselves against the possibility of becoming killers ourselves. DPS will formally announce the new graduation requirements in the next couple days. They say they're working to make sure all their classes conform to them and that students still get the chance to take AP and elective courses. This doesn't apply to current high school students, but will count for all the freshmen starting this fall.